Hi, I'm Jeannie Devon and let's get Zebra Strong. So today we are on the letter N for hypermobility. Um, my first choice is N for necks. So hands up who suffers from neck pain, um, shoulder pain, neck pain that causes headaches. That's probably quite a lot of us that have got our hands up. Um, I've suffered from migraines since a very early age and so much of that was caused from bracing and holding tension in my thoracic spine. So this would lock down, which would then cause tension all the way up into my temple, causing um, migraine headaches. Started when I started working in an office when I was, was um, in my 20s, a lot of computer work. So I probably had terrible posture, hunched over my computer with my head poking forward and then looking up at the computer screen. So no wonder that I had tension here and daily migraines. Um, so the other thing, that's one reason that we can um, have headaches. The other reason is that head posture. So typically, you know, with hypermobility, we often say we find it really hard to hold our head up. The head feels too heavy. And if, you're, if you think about the sort of the, the spine being a broomstick and the head being like a bowling ball, that we have to try and balance on top of that broomstick. Okay, and that's, you know, a very, it's a bit like spinning plates. It's quite a challenging thing to achieve. Um, but with the right organisation, we can actually achieve it. So if I turn sideways, you know, if we have a slouchy posture, um, because again, these muscles are maybe not strong enough to hold us up and we kind of slouch like this. Of course, if I need to look up, I'm going to bend my head like this. And so I've got my pokey out chin position and the back of my neck is being squashed. Now that is going to cause neck pain and it's extremely common in a lot of the population, of course, with our lifestyles, but it's very, very common default posture for hypermobility. So how do we fix this? How do we stop getting so much neck pain? My first go-to is not actually dealing with the neck. So I don't really think about these muscles here. These muscles here all run down into the thoracic, the upper part of your spine. Um, so what I do when dealing with neck pain, and it certainly helped cure my neck pain, is working on strengthening the upper back and understanding how the arms are actually integrated into the spine. Okay, so the arms don't finish here and kind of hang down like this, which again then pulls on all these muscles and kind of gives us this saggy feeling at the front. The arms are actually supported into our back. Now, if we can think of organizing the arms and the shoulders, miraculously, the head starts to get pulled back very naturally into the right position. So if I sit like this, and my shoulders, you can see, are rolling forward. These muscles are all being stretched long, so that means they're going to get weaker over time. And I've got my sticky out chin position. Now, so we're sitting like this, watching television or driving or whatever we're doing. Now, if we just think very slowly, think very, very deep into the body of lifting the heart. So think of lifting your heart. So go right inside your body, lift your heart. Notice how the shoulders naturally start to drop back. So we go from here to here. And notice how my head, instead of now poking out, naturally gets drawn back over the pelvis as well. So one of the first things we can start doing to correct neck pain, um, and of course there are lots of reasons that we might be having neck pain. I'm not saying they're all postural. We might have a condition, we might have um, cranial instability. You know, there are lots and lots of reasons why we might have neck pain, okay? But this is um, something that I found personally and with my clients has really, really helped. So if we're sitting in our slouch position, so we kind of say this is a bad posture, and then start to think of lifting the heart space up and don't force it, don't kind of push yourself. It's very, very slow, very organic. Notice how the shoulders drop back. So you become more aware of the arms being in the back of your body 
And then notice how your head is naturally drawn back over the pelvis. So I don't recommend doing all this sort of pushing the chin back exercises. That is just putting more tension into these areas. We want to encourage the head to come back by giving it the right organization in the body. So I hope that was useful. Just something to think about when you're sitting, if you catch yourself kind of going into your default position like this, just ask yourself, okay, where is my heart? Is it pointing down? Or can I help gently elevate the heart and see if that helps me improve my posture? And then maybe my head can move a little bit easier with less pain. So I hope that was useful. Thank you for watching. And until next time, stay Zebra strong. <laughs>